welcome to Accolade. In this video session, we explain in detail a new Accolade feature that lets you maintain both a business name and a technical name for model objects. This feature can be useful if the database target has attribute length limitations, for example, or if you wish to store abbreviated field names in the database while keeping detailed names for documentation purposes. If you do not wish to use this feature, keep it disabled in Tools, Options, Naming Conventions, with the default name coupling choice set to No. If you do so, no need to worry about filling in the technical name property for an object. The business name property will be used by default during forward engineering if the technical name property is left blank. Now let's demonstrate the power of this feature by enabling it in the user parameters. Let's note that we're using a dictionary file to direct the transformation. Plus, I'm going business name to technical name you want to do a case conversion using a camel case here because we're in a javascript environment and mongodb for cassandra on the other hand we would probably use make case its uppercase letters are automatically transformed to lowercase in cassandra let's take a look at this extremely simple csv file maintained in excel that i created to transform words the transformation is not case sensitive it's performed one word at a time the file needs to be referenced in the parameters let's take a look at what happens when i type in the business name property for an object whether it is a new model a container an entity or an attribute but first let's see how the parameter for name coupling gets represented you'll notice the equal signs next to name properties the equal sign next to the technical name is pressed by default and the technical name not be modified this is the visual sign that business to technical name coupling is enabled the business name as the master you may disable it for this object as an exception to the application default let's re-enable it for the purpose of this exercise as i start typing the business name in the property box the entry is parsed matched against the csv we saw earlier if no word is being recognized the entry is just duplicated in the technical name property as soon as i finish a complete word that is matched with the list corresponding technical name word replaces the entry as i type second word the same process takes place is further enhanced with the case conversion to camel case and so on you may decide to display technical names throughout the application in the erd the object browser or the schema tree view. To do so, simply change the corresponding parameter. You may also decide to keep technical names as master and transform the other way around. Notice also that you don't necessarily need to maintain a dictionary of abbreviations. You may apply simple conversion, removing vowels and or special characters. Whenever you make changes to the parameters, you will be prompted with a dialog you can choose whether to apply the parameter changes either to previously coupled properties or to the entire model be careful with these changes you may want to save your model prior to applying them there is no undo function even if you're in a business to technical coupling mode you must pay attention to the technical to business conversion parameters as they are used in the reverse engineering process ideally your conversions are symmetric if you suppress spaces in one direction you need to add them back in the other direction by default all reverse engineering processes leave your model in the technical to business state if you wish you may change the direction afterwards. We conclude here this video session, which we hope you have found useful. Please consult our website, hackalate.com, for additional information and download a 14-day free trial of the software. Thank you for your attention.